okay guys so here we have our latching relay right here with a modified magnet in it so let's give input as you can see when I change the input it latches onto the different state and again when I change the input it latches into different state Okay, to make your normal relay into latching one, you have to open this relay right here and you can see the structure inside this, here is the common terminal that moves freely, upper one is a normally open, so you have to connect a neodymium magnet onto the common terminal of the relay like this and just get into the center like this and it will be ready to work okay so here we have our relay and uh, onto the common terminal onto the top I connected neodymium magnet and let's see here is the normally open terminal on to the bottom and the middle is common terminal which can move freely and top terminal is a normally closed terminal I haven't did any other modification as you can see I just opened the cover of the relay so let's take a look at this circuit in action this four switches right here can give either positive or negative supply to the coil of this relay so now we modified the relay and hence this coil is not only unidirectional it can act as a bidirectional so the input polarity of this coil does matter to change at uh, at a higher or lower logic level latching so let me quickly demonstrate so here is the positive negative positive and negative so here is the one wire of relay and here is the second wire these both switches just selects whatever input you are going to give in it so onto the first terminal I am giving to positive supply and onto the second coil I am going to choose negative so it is latched onto the red LED down and let's switch to negative and positive so it is latched onto the yellow LED now and conversely it can latch onto red LED also let's take a quick look how it works so as you can see closely now it just latch onto the normally open terminal now let's latch it onto the as you can see it latch onto the this bottom terminal now onto the top and onto the bottom here is our circuit of the relay connection onto the common terminal I have connected 5 volt supply and to the normally closed terminal I have connected red LED and to the normally open yellow LED is connected here are the coil wires and to the coil wire we need driver circuit so here is the driver circuit onto the driver circuit I use four switches to give either positive or negative supply to these coil wires so two switches are connected to the VCC as you can see this one right here and this one and two switches are connected to the ground this one and this one so basically they are giving high these both switches are giving high supply and these both are giving low supply to this coil so whenever you push this button and this button then there is a positive on this wire and negative on this wire and whenever you push this button and this button right here there is polarity is reverse onto this coil so that's why the relay can latch onto the different state whenever you remove the power from the latch it can maintain the bits that you 
given to it so uh, right now red led is glowing and i'm going to remove the power supply as you can see now we completely removed the power and whenever you going to connect the input power again it will maintain its data inside and let's switch on to another state and let's remove the power supply as you can see it maintain after connecting the input supply again so right now i connected this 50 led strip and as you can see it can handle power very good and uh, the limitation is only the amp handling capacity of this relay but uh, if it was a ic then it cannot surely handle that much power directly with the sinking supply of this ic if you just remove this magnet then relay this relay can not work as a latching relay so it just latch into one state and it just blinks onto the other state for a second so let's connect the magnet and as you can see it's now working as a latching relay perfectly since we have connected the magnets here onto the top as you can see if we give any mechanical vibrations then it will sustain that mechanical vibrations also onto the yellow state also as you can see it switches onto the red side but as soon as you lose your force right here it can regain its state and there is no effect if you give same pulse to this latch coil as you can see there is no effect hope you like this idea friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and peace goodbye